Hello, my name is Mike Serpon, Senior Vice President of Client Services, and welcome to another edition of Inside Out. In today's episode, we're going to talk about crafting client solutions. So let's get started. Many times clients will ask, how quickly can you get my program up to speed? And the answer is, well, pretty quickly, but speed sometimes does not beget the best performance. So you've got to make sure that you take the time up front to be properly prepared to provide the best performance, to take the time to locate and recruit the right profile of employee. Make sure you're training them the way you train your own internal people and then make sure you get them onto the floor and support it in the right way. If you rush that process, there will be a degradation to their ability to perform, and you've kind of got to go into that eyes wide open and, and know that. That will have an effect on how quickly they're able to provide top quality service to your customers. It's really important for your partner to understand your goals, your objectives, and what you're really trying to achieve with this program. Once you've chosen your partner, you really need to embrace them. Bring them into the fold. Make sure they have every opportunity to learn as much about your business as they can. Well, a partner can provide all sorts of services. Everything from very straightforward, simple, the back office kinds of support that may not be customer interacting, all the way to highly complex customer interactions that support partners or high-end customer sets. It really depends on what you're looking for from your partner and the kinds of benefits that you're looking for from your partner. Now, one thing that will happen over time is as your partner gets to know you better and works with you more, the kinds of services that they'll be able to provide to you will increase. Pretty hot today with fraud and, and whatnot in play, trust and safety kind of work, also risk and response kinds of work is super important. And then of course, integrating digital solutions. Automation is key today. What's really important in 23, honestly, is driving as much efficiency into your operation as you possibly can. And bringing in automation and digital solutions can really help you in that path. So as we think about locations, you've got to weigh all that stuff in as you look at the kinds of geos that you want to operate in. Your partner should be able to bring to you a nearshore opportunity for, for support an onshore opportunity for support as well as offshore. And as we look at blending, you know, cost and the kind of interaction you're gonna have, those kinds of things really weigh into where you might provide the support. Another virtual location is work at home. And as we know, the hybrid work environment is more and more prominent these days. And so it's important to understand how can you best leverage the work at home environment? It's important for your partner to be able to bring a hybrid environment to you that also allows you the flexibility and maybe some cost efficiencies in providing service to your customers. A work at home environment can also be provided in those different geos. There's work at home in nearshore, there's work at home in offshore, and there's work at home in onshore. So it adds a whole new dimension to your partner's ability to bring you different kinds of support to support your customers. A good partner is gonna have multiple options for you to choose from when it comes to geography. Honestly, it's, it's a relationship that develops over time. I think as the relationship begins, you get access to you know, the initial set of systems or tools that you need to provide the service. And as you build that trust, as you learn more about each other, you tend to get deeper and deeper access. Just like you work up the stack and the levels of complexity of support that you provide to your client. The innovations are driving efficiencies in the business. The right partner ought to be bringing a slew of digital tools to you for consideration. The most credible partners out there, I think, know when to say no, that a type of service might be outside of their wheelhouse. <music>